Hey, it's Mike from MD Airsoft. Today we're going to look at a LiPo battery and explain what the specifications of it are. When you buy a LiPo, it's usually broken down into three categories. Voltage, milliamps per hour, and the C rating. We're going to specifically target the milliamps per hour and C rating and what they mean. Milliamps per hour is the capacity of the battery or how long the battery will last during usage. Of course there are more in-depth explanations, but the bigger the number is, the longer the battery will last during gameplay. The C rating of a battery is the most important thing to look at. The C rating is the maximum safe continuous discharge rate of the LiPo. If you see a 15 C on your battery, it means it can be discharged 15 times that pack's capacity. Capacity refers to the milliamp per hour rating of the battery. So how do you find out the amperage of the LiPo? Well, let me grab a piece of paper here. Okay, you take the milliamps per hour on this battery. It's 1100. And the C rating, uh, this one is 15C. And you multiply them together. First, you have to take the milliamp and convert it to regular amps. In this case it will be 1.1 amps times 15 C which equals 16.5 amps. So this means that you can safely draw up to 16.5 amps continuously from this 11.1 .1 volt LiPo without doing any damage to your battery. So the higher the C rating, the more amps it's going to put out. Now you want to be careful um, with anything higher than a 15 C LiPo because it can damage your trigger quite easily. Now I got a trigger unit here from a version 2 gearbox. Just going to quickly explain how a higher C LiPo can damage it. So how this works is you have a shuttle with metal contacts. I'll use a pen here to help point. Okay. This is the trigger housing and there's two metal contacts in here. Now when you pull the trigger, moves the shuttle and it connects to the two contacts in the trigger unit which sends voltage out of these two wires to your motor which spins the gears. Okay. Now every time in semi, the shuttle is going to move like this, in and out, as fast as you can pull it. Okay. In auto, it stays forward. Now, with higher with higher C lipos, every time you're in semi, like this, okay, it's going to arc as soon as the shuttle hits the other contacts. Arcing is another word for spark. You're going to see sparks. Now don't worry, it's not going to damn, it's not going to set your gun on fire. They're small sparks, but these sparks make these contacts here heat up very quickly. Now, the more these heat up, it's going to affect the plastic around the trigger assembly. Okay, now this back piece here holds these two contacts in place and there's a piece of little plastic that separates the two prongs. Now if you're in full auto and it's forward like this, there's going to be a tremendous amount of heat generating from that high C LiPo. Now this heat will start to melt the plastic, okay? Eventually allowing these two contacts to move. You don't want these to move, you want them to stay in place. This nub, I've seen the nub be gone. I've seen, you know, different piece of this plastic just disappear and melt, okay? What that's gonna do is allow these contacts here to move, and when they move, it allow them to touch, shorting out the trigger. Now what that means is every time you plug in the battery, the battery's gonna turn on right away, and it's gonna fire, and you have to unplug your battery. There's no way to stop it because these two contacts are touching. 
That's what you get when you use higher C LiPos. Now to fix that problem, you want to install a MOSFET. What a MOSFET does, it regulates the amperage of a battery. Now we'll get into MOSFETs a little later into a different video, but that's what you have to do, really the only way to protect your trigger from high C LiPos. Now if you want to run a high C LiPo, that's fine. You just have to make sure you run a MOSFET as well. Now for a version two gearbox, you know, I recommend a 15C or lower LiPo. For a version three gearbox, uh, which are AKs, stuff like that, um, I recommend a 12C or lower. Um, I find the version three trigger units um, heat up quicker. I think it's the, the type of plastic that's used. I know they look the same, but plastics can be made from different materials. Uh, I burnt out several myself using a 15C LiPo. Um, uh, 12C seems to be they can handle it okay. Again, if you want to run a 15C, 20C, and a version 3, install a MOSFET. So to sum up here, the milliamp basically is how long your battery will last. The higher this number is here, the longer it will last. Now an 1100 mAh battery should last you all day depending on how much you shoot. If you shoot a lot, you're going to need a backup battery. Now if, if you're in a longer game, like an 18 hour game, 24 hour game, um, you're probably going to go through two or three batteries during the, during the game. Again, 15 C is right here, means the amperage or how much amps this battery is capable of putting out. The higher that number there, the more amps it's going to put out, which can cause damage to your trigger um, if you're not protecting it with a MOSFET. So hope that explains, clears up a little bit of a LiPo. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave in the comments. Or if I've missed anything, please feel free to add it in the comments as well. Thanks for watching.